thank you for coming along. It's really nice. Um, Paul's white jacket reminds me. Do you remember the advert? Just one coronet all. <laughs> um, that's water, by the way. I should uh, let's hasten to add there. Um, yeah, thank you for coming along. It's very nice to see you. And I've met some of you already before. And um, I'll show you a little bit of magic, haven't I? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't know by the applause I didn't get. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try and show you a couple of things here, some unusual things. Um, the first thing is, uh, Tatum, would you help me here? Okay. Um, anybody here play cards? Not many people do these days, but anybody actually play cards? Yeah. yeah. All right. Because if I start doing something that involves a card game and you don't know the rules, or you don't know what the trick is all about, it's going to mean very little, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm going to try. Um, these are the cards, by the way, I was using outside in the... Uh, in the, house, the lobby, the foyer, the kitchen, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, the parlour, the room. The drawing room. The drawing room, that's, that sounds very posh, doesn't it? Um, would you help me here? Yeah. Now, have you ever played poker? It doesn't matter if you uh, have or haven't, but have you? Yeah, I mean, not very well. Not very well, yeah. okay, that's all right. Um, I'm going to ask you to play a game of head-to-head -head poker with me. Okay. Head-to-head poker is which is when two people play the game, just two people, because generally you have four, five, six people like that, okay? And I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards from the deck. Now, so <coughs> Katie. Do you know the rules, though? No, no, you don't, you don't need to know anything at all. Okay? <laughs> Nothing. No knowledge is required whatsoever. Okay? I'm going to do two cards to the table. It's a free choice. Which one would you like in a game of poker? Uh, that one. That one? Okay. Ooh. That one there? Okay, you get an eight. Now, I can't comment on that. It's just one playing card. But I'm going to deal. Um, I'll deal th uh, three cards this time, and I'm going to let you choose two of them. Okay, uh, that one, that one. You sure? Because yes. when you go home tonight and you wish you to take in that one, <laughs> you sure those two? No. Uh, not, not that one. Not you that know, one. Just those two, okay. Yeah. You've got an ace, and you... Two aces. So. <laughs> mm. Don't play cards with Katie. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to deal two cards to the table. It's a free choice. Now, I'm going to ask you what I'm going to get. You tell me what you want me to get. What, which one should I get? Uh, I want you to take that one. Okay, I'm going to leave it down here on the corner of the match so you can all keep an eye on it for a second. Again, like I did for you, I'm going to deal three, and I'd like you to choose two for me. Uh, one, two. Okay, not that one? No, no, Okay, just that one and that one? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to you now. You've got two aces and an eight. That's pretty good going for starters. Now, which one would you like now? That one. That one? Are you sure? Yes. An eight? You've got two eights and two aces. The card players here know that is good. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Now I'm going to do two cards at the table now. I'd like you to choose which one I get. Uh, that one, please. That, are you sure? Yeah. Um, okay, that one there. So let's just recap here. We've got sort of four cards each. You've got, yeah, four cards. Now, there are three choices all the way. Oh, I've got two cards left, by the way, as quick as you can, top or bottom. Top. Okay, so you get. My God. <laughs> 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 well, I think Katie deserves a round of applause. <laughs> You've never played cards before, have you? <laughs> that's really good, yeah, that's really good. Um, now, bearing in mind at the beginning I shuffled the cards, which is true, isn't it? I that shuffled the cards, true, yeah. I dealt them to the table, it was a free choice all the way through. Yes. And that was a free choice. These are the ones you gave me. Let's have a look to see how what well you've done here. Well, you've given me a ten of spades. That probably means nothing to you. No. But if I said I've got a jack of spades... Yeah. <laughs> if I said a queen... <laughs> and a king and an ace... That can't be beaten. <laughs> How did you do that? That's extraordinary. I don't, I don't get it either. Now, I'll give the cards a shuffle again. Um, I'm going to ask you again to choose any card from the deck. I'm going to pick on a few people over here as well in a moment. I'm not going to get away with it, you know that, don't you? Um, take any card you wish, please. please. Take anyone you, at all. Have a good look at it. Show the folks in the room, but don't show me. You okay with that one? You look slightly puzzled there. <laughs> just, okay, have you all got the card? Yeah? yeah. Remember it? Yeah. And again, I'm going to get you to place it around about halfway. Don't, if you forget the card, don't worry. I don't want you to go through mental calisthenics trying to remember the card, I think, okay? Now, I'm going to use one, two, three, four cards to tell me about your card. So these cards are going to tell me about your card. Now, the first one, if I get this correct, I'm hoping anyway, it's a red card, isn't it? Red card. Yes. Was it a diamond? Yes. Was it a nine? Yes. <laughs> What's your card, the last one here, the nine of diamonds? <laughs> Because 
can't have four nine, nine of diamonds, can you? No. So if you folks want to see another four ace trick, I can do that for you any time. <laughs> <laughs> Card I put in there earlier, that happens to be your actual Nine of Diamonds. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as I go, I tell you, let's just try one more thing with you, if that's okay. Yeah. yeah? Um, card cheats all over the world, they know that the aces are the best cards in the deck, generally speaking. I mean, it does vary from game to game. Um, but let's we'll try and do this for you. I'm going to cut once there, once there, just say stop where you want. Because yeah. if we do that and get the four aces again, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Thank you. I tell you, your applause has made an old man very happy. You happy, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> We're the same age, he just had a very tough paper round. <laughs> I didn't. Okay, nobody gets away with it. Um, I'm going to try something else just one more time, is that alright? Yeah. Okay. Now, the way these things work is by, um, it's called a, a card counting and estimation, okay? Mm -hmm. What that means is I know how, if I cut some cards off the deck, I know basically how many I've got. Now, should I let you on a secret show you how I do this? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut what I think is, it's a bit funny because the lights are a strange over here. Right? That is, that's ten cards, okay? What I'd like to do is to reach over, cut ten cards and place them. You'll have to come a little bit closer, if you don't mind. Just cut what you think is ten cards and place them there. Definitely in silence. Okay. Um, I'd say it's pretty good. I'd say there's probably, yeah, I think you're about right there. Okay. Um, do I have another go? Oh God, you're all good at this, aren't you? I think you've actually got ten cards. I think, well, maybe not. Yeah, have another go. Sometimes this kind of works, sometimes it doesn't, because if the spectator gets ten cards each time, it means they've been cheating all the way along, and they know more about <laughs> card magic than I do. Yeah? Let's have one last try, and place it on the far side. Oh, a bit of fiddling going on there. Now, if there were ten cards in the packet, that would be forty. How many would that leave here? Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whoa. Very good, eh? That's impressive. <laughs> Don't applaud her, she's had enough already. <laughs> now, you cut any way you wanted to. I mean, yeah. you could just cut. And I said to try and cut ten cards. Well, I'm going to tell you, there's not ten cards in each packet. Um, there's nine, there's eleven. 12. I can't quite tell that packet there because I think there's a joke of missing out of the deck. But it was a free cut all the way through. Yeah. If you go to Vegas and do what you've just done, you will probably make in Vegas a million dollars. That's generally what they say. And by the way, this isn't magician's patter, this is the truth. You can Google this, you can go to Vegas. They'll ask you to, um, like I did shuffle the cards, they'll ask you to cut the four cards, and they can ask you to cut high cards. But if you get the high cards, you can win a million dollars in Vegas. So my suggestion is that if you could cut here, to the four aces. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, folks. Talented and handsome. <laughs> no? The last case. <laughs> and I do the gag round. No? Well. Now, I'm going to leave the aces out on the table. Um, I'm going to... I need a help from this time. Caroline, would you help me again? Um, I'd like to take any card you wish. If you show this side of the audience, would you mind take any one? If you forget the card, I don't want you to worry about it. Just show people. Would you choose a card? I take any one you wish. Show your side of the room. There you go there. Whilst you're doing that, would you mind? Say, if you forget the card, you've got to have 12 witnesses on this side, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Remember? yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. You got that? Okay. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, say you don't. I, mean, I, I don't remember those. I know, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the alcohol. That's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I saw you knocking back those whiskies. Um, now, I believe the ace is on the table. Now, magicians do this strange thing. It's a strange thing. Um, they place a bunch of cards on the aces, and then things proceed from there. Have you seen that routine where they put bunches of cards on the aces? If you've seen Paul work, he might do it. If you've seen Charlie work, you might see him do it. 
No? Okay, that's good. I'll show you how it's done properly now. <laughs> I'm going to put a few cards on this one here. I'm going to put a few cards on this one here, a few cards on this one here, and a few cards on this one down here. The magician then gathers the cards in any old order, taking the close-up mat with him. They go back on top of the deck, and then the cards are then given a couple of cuts. And in doing that, I'm going to try and relocate the aces. Starting with the Ace of Diamonds, I'm going to try and spell for the Ace of Diamonds. What that means is this, T-H-E, that's the word the, obviously. That's patronising, isn't it? <laughs> Which means talking down to you. <laughs> I'm glad you got the game. Nobody else gets that one, ever. Okay. You're just about with it, aren't you? Just about with it, okay. So the, here we go, A-C-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, there's the Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> cards a cup, which is not easy with a packet like this. The next one to find is the Ace of Clubs, which I'm going to do with a suit only. C-L-U-B-S, clubs. <laughs> now, there's two ways of doing all this, with applause, or the way we're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next one... You're going to write all these down, aren't you? You're going to be just no stealing all the gags. The next one to find is the Ace of uh, Spades. And to find the Ace of Spades, I can spell anything. A-N-Y-T-H-I-N-G. Anything. Yay. These are the gags, folks. Um, look, I've got far too many cards here to find the last one. Far too many cards. I've got one more to find here, which is, as you see, the Ace of Hearts. Let's try and slow it down for you. Here we go. With a little Philip, F-I-L-I-P. That should be the Ace of Hearts. Yeah. Yeah. But, after that mishmash of shuffling and so on and so forth, I'm left with two playing cards here. Yours and yours. Now you probably want to shuffle the cards, don't you? Do you want to shuffle the cards? And do you want to shuffle? Yet, no. 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 You're a magician's wife, you should be able to shuffle them. No, I'll no. make the tea. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try? Do, I told him, do you want to try? Oh, do you trust me? I trust you. Anybody want to shuffle? Do you want to shuffle? <laughs> Come on, you're dying to. <laughs> Get the cards and mix up again. Oh dear. She's a magician's wife too. <laughs> yeah, you should know better. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Be careful you what you wish for. You'll be able to find them. Do you reckon? Right, yeah. Scott, you let your cards out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of mind reading, okay? Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask, as I run through the deck, let's give the cards a cut because you probably think I'm cheating. Just say stop at any position that you'd like. Stop. There? You sure? Yeah. Can you see the card? Yeah. Are you okay with that card? Yeah. Can you all see the card? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and work out what the card is. <laughs> Just through a basic couple of questions, okay? And I'm going to ask you to lie or tell the truth in response to my questions. You can lie or tell the truth. So I'm going to ask you a question. You can be honest or you can lie. What's your card? Red. No. What's your card? A diamond. No. What's your card? A black card. No. What's your card? <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. I'm watching, I'm watching little telltale signs here, okay? Little glimpses of something going on. That's why I didn't do the trick for Charlie. <laughs> I think your card, after all those questions, I think your card is a low card between two and nine. I think it's a red card, a diamond. Yes. Am I hot or cold? Hot. I'm doing well, aren't I? Mm. You're a dreadful liar. <laughs> What's your card, the Ten of Spades? <laughs> now, it's not about observation. Well, it's not all about observation, but it is about observation as well. Um, I'm going to try and show you something here. I've got four aces here, one of them is face up. These are blueback cards. Can you see the difference between these and these? Am I telling the truth? Oh, yeah, yeah, we forget that. <laughs> <laughs> that one, no, okay. yes, no. We're back to reality. Okay, well, <laughs> when I say reality, it's a loose form of reality. Mm -hmm. But can you see the difference between those and those? I can. There's two differences, back design, and the fact I've only got a small bunch of cards here and here, I've got a full deck. 
Yeah. And I haven't been working with a full deck for years, so I'm quite happy to use this. <laughs> <laughs> These are the gags, by the way, so some kind of appreciation. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've got four, um, four aces here. Um, one of them is faced up, which is the ace of diamonds, okay? Watch the ace of diamonds. I'm going to switch the diamond, hopefully without you seeing a thing, for one of the black ones. Watch the diamond. Did you see the switch? No. I just switched it for the ace of spades. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. I'll put the spade back in the packet. I'm going to do the next switch. Watch this. It goes in. Do you see the switch? Yeah. No. Not yet. No yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going back in by so No, okay, that's, that's good. Because I just did switch it, I switched it for the apart. Oh. Thank you. Oh. That leaves one more to go, which I haven't shown you yet, which is the club. Now, if you missed all those switches, you probably need to go to Specsavers and get your eyes tested. These are the jokes, by the way. Because that actually does say, did you see the cars change colour? Now, do you remember the colour of the backs of the cards? Yes. Yeah. Blue. Well, you folks aren't watching because actually, they are all very different. <laughs> Website. It's, <laughs> no, stop plugging, honestly, it's a ridiculous book. Now, I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna try something else now. I need, um, would you help this time? Uh, yes. yes you yeah. seem pretty uncertain by Yeah, yeah, I've been called before, but. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a go. With the GMC or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how I started. This yeah. is the GMC. Yeah. That's how you met Charlie as well. Yeah. Yes, that's right, Tom. Yeah, that's the GMC. Yes. Now, I'm going to try and show you right here and now. Um, I'm going to take out a prediction card. Um, I know what it is, you don't. But I'm just going to leave it there for a moment. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to think what I'm going to use as I'm taking them out of the deck. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use the kings for this. The kings will be kind of a catalyst for what's going to happen now. I'll explain as I go along, okay? And I'm going to leave the kings on the table for just a second. Whilst you reach in, take any card you want. If it's an ace, put it back. We don't want aces. We've had enough of them. Take any card you want. Yeah, you okay with that one? It's not an ace, is it? No. No? Okay, what I'd like you to do is to sign your name. Okay. Big letters right across the face of it. Big letters? Yeah. As big as you can. Okay. When I say across the face of it, I don't mean your face, I mean the face <laughs> of the card. Okay? okay. That's lovely. And can you put Caroline's phone number on it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is watching, but it will come off. <laughs> um, that is your card, isn't it? You better show everybody, because I don't think they saw it. Yeah, it hasn't. Okay. hasn't changed. Would you mind? Do you, you see the card? you saw the card? Okay. Yeah. That's about halfway, isn't it? Okay. If I could tell you what your card was straight away, would you be fairly impressed? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, let's try this. Now, don't forget I've got the kings down here. The first thing I'm going to try and show you is, I'm going to put the king of spades under the mystery card. Can you remember that? The king of spades goes under. Was that fair? Yeah. And the king of clubs goes above the mystery card and the heart and diamond in the corner. So this trick comes in two parts. What's on top of the mystery card at the moment? Club or spade? Okay. If I could switch them, that'd be fairly impressive to you folks. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean that because I did that outside in the foyer, didn't I? Oh, yeah. parlour. Well, what did you call it? Oh, That's the one. Drawing room. But if I could switch them, that'd be fairly impressive, folks. I don't yeah. mean there. I mean the black ones from there to there. Obviously. I've got the heart and diamond there. Yeah, that's true, obviously. isn't it? But there's something else to remember. Somewhere in the deck is your card. If I could locate it instantly, that's a good trick, isn't it? Yeah. But do you remember, before you chose a card, right at the beginning, let's just scroll back a little bit. Before you chose a card, I put a card on the table as a mystery card. There, yeah. That's been on there since the beginning, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, the real mystery is that card happens to be your sign. <laughs> 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 I got, you know, magicians, you get all these kind of things, nice words from magicians all over, I had the best ones tonight, didn't I? 
Well, you've had a couple of drinks later, maybe you could just repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Um, I now, um, Jennifer. No, not Jennifer. Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa. Vanessa, I'm going to ask you to help me here. Um, I met you just briefly outside the front, didn't I? It was a very brief meeting, so I tried, obviously failed tonight. I try and remember as many names as I possibly can, okay? And I made predictions based on that fact. I made a prediction earlier. I'm going to try and make it come true, right here and now. Can I ask you to, can you reach, can you see from yes, there? Yes. Can you take any card you wish? Again, if it's an ace, put it back, because, you know, these aces keep dropping up. If that's an ace, I'm going to get huge applause, aren't I? What card, is it, it's not an ace, is it? No. Would you mind signing your name on the face of it? And whilst you're doing that, I've got to ask you a couple of questions. Are you folks, I mean, I've asked you before, but are you particularly observant? No. no. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Because magician's magic, especially close-up magic, kind of works on that basis of observation and so on and so forth. Thank you very much indeed. And the reason we have cards signed is so that we know they are the self-same cards that you see time and time again. Now, the first part of this is, I'm going to try to do it slower than normal. The Ten of Hearts can't be your card because it hasn't got your writing on. Yeah. Okay. The Ten of Hearts I'm going to leave in my inner jacket pocket. So remember the Ten of Hearts goes in the inner jacket pocket. For the observant ones here, okay? <laughs> the Queen of Spades will go on the table here. So, what's in my pocket at the moment? Oh. And on the table? Queen of Do you want to see the best card trick ever? Mm. Turn it over. And in my pocket should be the Queen of Spades. <laughs> um, your card is in the deck somewhere, and I'm going to ask you to cut the deck once, and you're going to cut to your card. So cut wherever you want, place it over there. If that was your card, I hope I would get a standing ovation. <laughs> I mean, card magicians don't normally get, get any kind of ovation, but let's try this. Turn it over. And there we are, late. No, the second, the next one I meant, the next one, next one, next one. Do you know what, I think in this heat it's kind of gone too far because your card has left the deck. I can assure you of that. The card has left the deck, it went around the room twice, and it's ended up in your inner jacket pocket. No, 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 get off. It no didn't way. stop there, though. <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> it went back around this side of the room, up this sleeve, and in my pocket is my wallet. And in my wallet, there's what we call a zip section in the middle. You very rarely see it these days. And inside the zip section, right deep inside, <laughs> is a duplicate of your card, which is the Six of Hearts. What's your card, the Six of Hearts? But what's your card, this sign? since lunchtime. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm so much there for you to eat. And I'm one of the weird vegans. I know. You know. Would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Can you get the card to shuffle? Are you enjoying it so far? Yes. 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 You've got a brilliant act to follow as well. Brilliant. Oh. No, you must be a magician's husband. <laughs> no, why? <wife, right? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Faux pas number one. <laughs> Do I get there? Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. Now, the only thing I'm going to take out of the deck is um, four playing cards. The cards I'm going to take out are the aces, because I don't want you to choose an ace in a moment, and I'm going to show you folks exactly, not just for fun, how the card cheats cheat in Las Vegas. But before I do that, I'll leave the aces right there. All right? Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is take out any card you want from the deck. Again, show everybody, but please don't show me. Can they all see the card? These are all getting a bit sweaty here, but we'll try this anyway. Remember the card? Yeah. Do you want to place it back for me? I now know what it is. And nobody looks remotely impressed by that. Because <laughs> I know what you want me to do right now, don't you? 
prove it. Okay. I'm going to take out some cards from the deck. Um, I'm hoping one of them might be yours. This is difficult stuff, this is. Well, you have to be honest with me. Is one of those yours? Yes. Oh. Right, well, thank you very, very much indeed. <laughs> whilst we introduce the next act. What I would like to do, could you put your finger over like that, please, over the ten of clubs for me? And do you mind me touching your wrist? No. Okay, really? I, I won't, you don't want me to. Are you, are you okay with that? Yeah, or, of course. Okay. I'm just going to move your hand across the cards. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to think about your card. Okay. Because what's going to happen is, your, your pulse is going to jump a second when you get to your card. And what you could do, what you could do, is you could think of a different card there, try and bluff me, so that your pulse jumps elsewhere. Do you see what I'm getting at? Okay. So, all right, okay. I think. I didn't say that was your card, did I? No. Because the one you actually chose was a ten of more of that later on. Now, I'm going to use the aces. I want you to watch very closely. The ace of clubs, the ace of diamonds, the ace of spades, and the ace of hearts, okay? They go on the top of the deck. Do you trust me, or do you want to check that? Trust you. You trust me? <laughs> 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 I've heard that in a long time. All right, there they go, on the top of the deck. If you play cards, you always have to start by giving the cards a couple of cuts. That's tradition in any card game. You then have to give the cards a couple of shuffles. Now, the way I'm shuffling now, it's called an overhand shuffle, which is the way we shuffle in this country. Am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In America, they give the cards what they call a straddle, or a farrow shuffle rather, or a riffle shuffle. Now, so that you can see it, I'll do this in the hands, and I'd like a witness to this. Is that a pretty good shuffle? Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. I mean, there's a couple not quite mixed there, so I shall just lose those, and that is a good shuffle. Am I right? Okay. I'm now going to try and I underline the word try with italics and bold, I'm going to try and cut to the aces one by one. Now, I need an assistant for this, would you mind? Yeah. Uh, don't raise your eyes. No. <laughs> I still do. That's the wind again, isn't it? Could you, are you able to bring your chair a little bit closer? Is that all right? Okay. Oh. What I'd like you to do is to square the cards up like this, just to make sure they really are squared. And make sure there's no bends or arrows pointing to any cards in the deck. <laughs> You're really looking, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> No, you don't. That's wonderful. I'm going to try and cut to the aces one by one with one hand. This takes years of practice, okay? Self-denial. It's <laughs> not that kind of self-denial. <laughs> That's why in every audience. I thought it was going to be you tonight. <laughs> I'm going to try and cut to the aces one by one. One hand. That should be the Ace of Diamonds. Okay, fine. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> one higher and one lower, I'd have missed. It's very precise. Do you want to square them up again, check them? Make sure there's no arrows or bends or anything like that? No? Okay. I'm going to get the watch later, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I am. <laughs> 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 We wish we should never come to that, aren't you? Yeah. Don't you say that. <laughs> the second one, I'm going to reach over and cut a little bit deeper. That should be the ace of spades. One higher, one lower. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Does he do this at home, Ed? All the time. All the time, okay. <laughs> what about magic? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to check one, one, well, not the last time, the third time? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do it without even looking this time. So what I'm going to do is push the deck towards you, mm -hmm. oops, and the cloth and the mat. I'm going to ask you, just square them up again. Can you guide my hand somewhere, am I above the cards, am I? Uh, yeah. Okay. I can tell you, you don't have to touch me, that's, that's called molesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't even do the gag there anymore. The sense of humour has been wiped out of society. <laughs> am I right, Scott? 
Watch. I'm going to cut to the third one. I can tell you the third ace is exactly 15th from top. 15. What are you dying for me to do right now? <laughs> Find it. Prove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prove it. Okay. Watch this. 15, I said. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> if I'd have gone one higher, one lower, I'd have missed. The last one, hopefully to a big round of applause as I bid you good night, is the Ace of Clubs. With a little flourish and a little bit of flair, I should be able to cut right here. <laughs> right there, too. Oh. <laughs> Yes, I can. Right, where's the wine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>